A biology professor at the University of Washington claims that the number of penguins in the wild are dwindling at an alarming rate. Early show correspondent and resident veterinarian Dr. Debbie Turner is in the Bronx with more. Debbie, good morning. Good morning to you, Julie. I'm here at the Wildlife Conservation Society's Bronx Zoo. I'm ready to feed the penguins. I've got the fish and the gloves and the boots, but I guess they're not quite ready for breakfast. They're right over here. These are Patagonian penguins, or Magellanic. And one biologist says these and many other penguins are sensitive to the environment. And when the environment changes, that brings harm to the penguins. And in her article in Bioscience Magazine, she says that's not just bad for the penguins, that's bad for humans too. We've all seen pictures like these, polar bears in danger because global warming is literally melting their habitat. But they are far from the only animal affected by climate change. Where I'm working now, there's probably about half the number of penguins that were there in the uh, early 1980s. Dr. D. Borsma has studied Patagonian penguins in Argentina for 25 years. But it's not just these. Of the 17 species worldwide, 10 are considered endangered or at risk. Penguin numbers, depending on the species, have declined very rapidly. And Borsma says as penguins go, so goes planet Earth. Well, penguins are the canaries in the coal mine. Penguins are telling us, as marine sentinels, that our southern oceans are changing. Penguins are affected not only by climate variation and climate change, but they're affected by lots of activities that we do, from moving oil around because we spill oil, from plastics that we dump into the oceans, to fishing that takes away their food. Academy Award-winning documentary March of the Penguins chronicled the emperor penguins' amazing struggle to reproduce and survive. But experts say, because of soaring temperatures and decreasing ice, that the day could come that they make their final march. We can't just hope that the wildlife can make it. There's not any place that's left for them, so we're going to have to pay more attention and change how humans do business. And that's really her message. Now, there are some penguin colonies around the world that are doing better, but many of them are really suffering, like the African penguin uh, now has only about 60,000 numbers wor worldwide, and that's from, at one time, one billion. This is a wow. big Incredible. problem we've got to keep our eye on. Absolutely. Debbie mm -hmm. Turner, thanks so much.